I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsness News, and here are your top headlines today, July 21st, 2023. A 47-year-old local individual is now facing charges including uttering death threats and possession of a dangerous weapon after becoming upset at a meeting on Russell Street earlier this week. According to a release from Kingston Police, he resorted to uttering death threats and waving a knife around the meeting. Police said the 47-year-old local individual was charged with two counts of uttering threats to cause death, two counts of assault with a weapon, carrying a concealed weapon, possession of a weapon dangerous to public peace, and possession of a prohibited weapon. At approximately 12.45 a.m. on Thursday, July 20th, 2023, police received reports of a man throwing knives at people off a balcony at the Bayswater Place apartment building. According to witness reports, the man was under the influence of drugs, police said in a press release later the same day. As responding officers approached the rear of the building, the accused man pointed a firearm at them, said Kingston Police, who did not know at the time that the firearm being pointed at them was a replica. The 35-year-old man was apprehended and transported to Kingston Police headquarters and charged with two counts of assault of a weapon, two counts of pointing a firearm, and possession of a weapon dangerous to public peace. A stretch of Battersea Road from Thompson Crescent to Kingston Mills Road was closed at approximately 10 a.m. on Thursday, July 20, 2023 by Kingston Police. Just before 3.30 p.m., Sergeant Steve Koopman of the Kingston Police confirmed the on-scene investigation had concluded. Kingston Police confirmed that the City of Kingston garbage truck was not directly involved in the incident, as previously stated by the City. The Director of Special Investigations Unit says he has found no reasonable grounds to believe that a Kingston police officer committed a criminal offense after a 41-year-old man died after falling from the fourth floor of the Chown Memorial parking garage. The incident took place on Wednesday, March 22, 2023. Upon arriving at the scene, a Kingston police officer exited his cruiser and attempted to talk to the man, who then jumped from the ledge. Director Martino stated in his report that while the officer's presence may have been the final catalyst for the man's fateful decision, the officer stands blameless. Despite a commitment by his parents to act as his sureties, Brayden Hockey will not be granted bail while he awaits trial for his child luring charges. At the Ontario Court of Justice Bail Court in the Kingston Courthouse on Wednesday, July 19, 2023, Justice of the Peace Jack Chang refused Hockey's bail request and ordered the 29-year-old accused man detained. At approximately 12.35 p.m. on Thursday, July 20, 2023, firefighters were dispatched to the airport due to a hazardous condition, a spill of jet fuel on the apron of the airport, where planes park, load, unload, refuel, etc. Multiple fire trucks entered the grounds of the airport, where service continued uninterrupted. Airport management confirmed that the fuel spill had occurred and that a large jet had begun leaking fuel while it was in the process of refueling. The leak has now been resolved and the cleanup effort remains underway. For 11 days this August, Kingston Theatre fans will have plenty to choose from. The 2023 edition of TK Fringe will bring 19 productions to the Limestone City as part of the annual festival. Running August 3rd to 13th at three different venues in downtown Kingston, the 2023 festival will present a wide range of comedy, drama, improv, and everything in between. For more on these stories and other local news, please visit kingstonist.com and subscribe.